year is our most memorable years of our life. It's the start to planning our life ahead and entering the real world. I found out some of our teachers' favorite memories of their senior year in high school. Looking back on my senior year, my favorite senior memories are working for Miss Wilson. I was her assistant and got to do whatever she needed, um, make copies for, run errands. Certainly, whenever I was doing a presentation, like a project for The Lord of Flies, the world's most awesome literature book we ever read about a bunch of boys stranded on an island. And me and a bunch of my buddies got together and made a video reinterpretation of the, the, poor, you know, the pig's head on the stake setting it on fire and all that. We did this for like 18 or 20 hours or something the day before. And then when we got to school, we presented it. And then our teacher actually let us leave and we didn't get caught. It was awesome. We had a very interesting principal whom the student body for the most part did not like. And um, we wish a fond farewell in a very obnoxious manner and we all left. Um, that was probably also my most fond memory of my senior year was graduation because uh, the student body was obnoxious. Um, in my senior year, I went to France over spring break. Um, I was uh, just turning 18, so I felt like a brand new adult, and um, it was pretty neat, pretty neat to be able to go and do that. I wasn't even going to be a French teacher. I was going to be an English teacher, but I chose um, to follow my heart and, and uh, do something I really wanted to do. I, I loved the, the country and the language. Um, and I just went there um, and enjoyed myself. Every teacher was actually my junior year, but I kept up with him my senior year. Uh, I was Coach Henniger, he was my U.S. history teacher, and probably was my inspiration to be a high school teacher. Um, he was one of the most energetic um, teachers that I had ever had. He was uh, also one of the best looking teachers I ever had because I had a major crush on him. Um, he made history alive. And not only was I enjoying his class by staring at him all the time, but I was also enjoying his class because he was just a great teacher. He uh, made history interesting all the time. Favorite teacher um, that I had in high school that made the biggest impact again was Miss Wilson. Uh, I felt like she just really understood um, students and she let you be yourself and help guide you and gave you good advice and she's also a really smart lady. The most memorable teacher that I ever had in high school was my U.S. history teacher. He was in his second year teaching, like 22, 23, probably didn't know what he was doing now that I've gone through those shoes myself, but his attitude towards life and towards his subject matter was toxic in a good way. So he really influenced me a lot and the teacher I am today uh, exists largely because of this guy's influence. Um, my favorite teacher was Ms. Mock. She was our English teacher and she allowed us to journal and express ourselves and read and think about everything that was said um, and, and kind of interpret for ourselves. What does it mean? So I really enjoyed that. Uh, that's what I'd say. My English teacher, Miss Mock. The song for my graduation was actually by a one-hit wonder, a lady named Vitamin C, and the song was called Friends Forever. And it was kind of to the Canon and D uh, song, you know, by Bach or whoever. Our song from the chorus was the I Can Show You the World from Aladdin um, on a magic carpet ride. But uh, right when we were graduating, there was a spontaneous whoop, there it is, when we, uh, when we all graduated. So everyone kind of sang that, that was in 93. So it was kind of a neat little moment. I said that we sang this at my graduation. Senioritis is affecting the entire school. Even juniors are falling asleep in class, not doing their work, and grades are slipping. I went around the school to ask teachers what their advice was to get back on the wagon and get your work done and graduate strong. Okay, hello. A tip for seniors with senioritis to stop being lazy. The real world is coming in like a month or two. 
maybe three, I don't know, whenever you start college or go to work, cut it out, get it together, get out to bed, don't give up now, because if you give up now, then you're gonna be a loser for the rest of your life. So push it out to the end. If you need some personal pep talk, come by me, and I'll tell you how bad your life will suck if you uh, keep up being lazy. Okay, bye. Get your crap together, man. You're gonna be graduating. Jobless, schoolless, homeless. Get your crap together and go somewhere. Do something with your life. Thanks. All right, get a chat five, let's go. Stop wearing pajamas to school. So I've been asked by tips for senioritis and I would say bump up the caffeine consumption and just just hang in there just for a few more weeks. It's almost over. All right, in order to best combat senioritis, one, don't procrastinate. Number two, if you do procrastinate, use your school skipping days to catch up on the work you procrastinate. And number three, if you think that you got it bad now, think about how hard college is gonna be and consider this the training for the final show. Hey, for Real Talk, I'm Kayla Nick. Graduation is coming up, so I asked a few seniors what their fear is about graduating. Oh, going to college. Oh, you ain't gonna have your friends, your old friends ain't gonna be there no more. Uh, I'm not gonna see any of my friends anymore. <laughs> Biggest fear. My fear about graduating would be not being accepted by the like, after I get through college and all that, not being accepted into like, you know, the society of life and stuff. Man, my fear about graduation was missing everybody. That's it. My biggest fear about graduation is going to college and living away from home. For real talk, I'm Auden Dirt. Back to you. The end of senior year is approaching and soon seniors will be going off to college. I went around the school asking students what their fears were for moving on campus and I asked teachers what their fears were when they went off to college. Right. Probably the great fear on living on campus would probably be having a roommate at the murder killer. Oh, um, worry about that. <laughs> The fear I have of living on campus is not being able to bring my dog. It's one thing that I fear about living on campus is people stealing my stuff. One fear I have living on campus is not knowing anybody. Uh, you know, I'm pretty good with getting to know people. So. My fear of living on campus is being without my friends and my family. Uh, a fear when I went to college was not knowing anyone uh, on campus. Now that you've heard some of other people's fears, maybe moving on campus won't be so scary for you. For Real Talk, I'm Kayla Newton. Senior year is filled with a whole bunch of dates, fees, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we just have to remember. So juniors, if you're stressing about next year, here's some advice that you just might find helpful. The advice I'll give to the juniors and the seniors next year, attendance. Attendance is very important. Study. Study is important. Enjoy every single moment of your senior year. My advice for rising seniors is to come to school. You can't do your work if you're not here. For rising seniors, here's my advice. If you think that senior year needs to be a walk in the park, hey, I took all my hard classes when I was younger, I just want to have late arrival or an early dismissal and all this stuff, think about how hard college is going to be and challenge yourself. And don't be scared to challenge yourself. Hopefully this advice will help you in your senior year. For Real Talk, I'm Matthew Clune. Approximately a thousand years ago, when teachers were in college, they did have fun once, too. So I went around the school and asked them what their most exciting college memories were. It was probably my French class. Because I had like the best French teacher ever. And she had like this little monkey. And she would put him around the room and before class began, she would always ask us, Où est le songe? And so we'd have to tell her like where the monkey was. And it was just a really fun class. Uh, my most memorable time in college, I have a couple. They're all kind of the same. It's any time that we went on field trips. So when I went to USC Aiken, we went on this one field trip. We went on many field trips. But this one field trip we went on, we went to um, the Okefenokee Swamp. And we canoed through the swamp for like a week and slept on this platform in the middle of the swamp for, for one of the nights. And on this platform, there was this toilet, like an outhouse thing. And so I had to go. So I went to go in it, and when the door shut, it was like this close. And all I could think about were all the people germs are in there, and I freaked out. And I couldn't even open the door to get out because I didn't have to touch it. So I was screaming, and they came and they got me out. So then I just hung over the side of the platform so I could pee in the water. And there was this alligator circling around us. 
and when I started to paint, the alligator like came straight towards us. He probably thought I was some big white chicken that he saw me and he was going to eat me. So and the alligator came towards me and everybody was screaming, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I was trying to go and I just couldn't go any faster. And then finally, I got done and the alligator did not bite me. He's out. Uh, in between my junior and senior years um, at UVA, um, I did a documentary editing internship at the, the State Library of Virginia. I have quite a few um, best college memories. Definitely would be the one where um, I was playing around with a group of friends and one of my friends jumped over the table in the comments and I thought I could do it too so I tried to do a James Bond and jump over the table and I broke it all the way down to the ground. It was hilarious. Luckily I didn't have to pay for it but that was fun. I like to play jokes on my um, roommates. I used to glue all of her pages together inside of her textbooks. I used to hide one of her shoes because she was so messy so she wouldn't know where her shoes were. Um, one time I hid her paycheck under my bed. I'm definitely a practical joker and I used to spray her with sugar water at night so she would wake up and be sticky. For Real Talk, I'm Lexi Spawn. How's it going? What's up, bro? What's up? Right. Um, you smell that? Smell what else? Yeah, you got it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you got, got, got some water, bro. Oh, okay. You got any? Uh, well, luckily, I have Axe Spray. Alright, man, cool. Well, I guess I'll use it, man. Thanks. Wow, man, this this axe really does smell good. Thanks for it. Totally, totally. It'll work. All right, man. I got it. I'll see y'all later, man. All right, bro. Take it to the max with axe. This gum is so good. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Now you know you don't chew on gum from my class without giving me some first. I don't even know what you're thinking. But matter of fact, give me the whole thing. Strawberry Juicy Fruit, a sweet piece of fun. Fight for my cocoa puffs. Some universities, you may be very limited to what you can bring, and it can start to feel impossible to make your dorm feel like home. So I'll comply 10 essentials that will help you feel prepared and comfortable.
Talk, I'm Jessica Atlaw. This week on Hall Talk, Apocalypse Edition, I found out who people would bring, what weapons they take, and ways they might want the world to end. Two people I would take? Um, my daughter and my husband. Okay, I would take my best friend and uh, Zoe Hawkins because she's very funny. So, I know she'd make it. Okay, you ready? Um, I would take John Cena and Johnny Depp. My dad and uncle? So if I got just two people I'm gonna take with me, I wanna be strategic about it. I need someone who can hunt and someone who can survive. But I will tell you that Miss Mistress has a plan. Um, Taylor. Taylor. That's a good question. Will Smith and Beyonce. There it is. Probably not. I, w I don't think I would. I would come help her if she's in the room. Mm-hmm. And I'll fight them down. Fight them down. It depends how important they are to me. <laughs> but probably not if I were to get killed too. Going back for my best friend, no. Every man for himself. <laughs> Depending on how close of a friend they were. <laughs> I ain't gonna have no parents, I ain't going back. I open the door and run. It <laughs> depends. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a survival issue. So uh, if, I'm, if I'm, I'm assuming that my best friend would be my wife in this case. So uh, uh, yes, I would go back for her. If it looked like certain doom and there's other people that depend on, on uh, me or her survival, then you know, you gotta make a decision. The AK. And a shotgun. All right. I would take a rocket launcher and a sword. Chainsaw and gun. Two weapons. Um, weapons of mass destruction. Any two would do. I would definitely take a AK-47 <laughs> and a Mac-11. <laughs> A gun and a knife. I need a machete and a gun. <laughs> the zombie apocalypse, of course. <laughs> I don't know. We could just go into complete darkness. I don't know. It would have to end, like completely destroy. I don't know what a party. Let's party this thing out all the way to the end. Oh, you ain't got no puppy because all of them died. <laughs> Is it a trick question? Four. So all of them died? All but eight. All but eight. You have eight. Six. Six. Eight. How? Six. Uh-huh. Benjamin Franklin was a president, right? I could have one. One. None. He wasn't the president. Two? He didn't. He was never president. He was Franklin? He wasn't even president. Two. He was never president of the United States. Me. West. Southeast. You're supposed to be protecting me from this. <laughs> I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the fourth kid. My mom had four kids. Daniel, come on now. Oh! I'm me. the fourth kid. Daniel. Go. Stop. All right, go. You go. go. Booyah. Yeah. Yeah. 
Stop. 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 You go. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for the final week of the knowledge test. For Real Talk, I'm Allison White. Bryce, the only guy I talked to.